Four triple two YouTube. Why is it the best formation on the game with the best custom tactics? I'm about to show you in this video. But before we get started, if you want to drop a like on today's video for me, drop a comment down below on the video. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button to my channel and hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. You can do that. I will love you guys forever. Now, the four triple two. How do I set my team up with the four triple two? Okay, I do have R9 and Maradona up front. You say on the ram. Kylian Mbappe, team of the year on the lamb. Hullet and Kante as my two CDMs. And then, of course, back four stays the same. Pretty self-explanatory there. The custom tactics that I then use with the 4 triple two YouTube are like so. Okay, so I play balanced on the defensive style, along with 50 width and 55 depth. Now, this is where you can change it a little bit to what suits you a little bit more. For me, the 50 and 55 works really well, but... When you are playing the 4 triple 2 you can afford to use that depth a little bit higher because you do have the two CDMs. And by the way, YouTube, this does work for new gen and old gen because I do play both old gen and the new gen. So it does work for both. But yeah, going back to the custom tactics, the depth, you can have it on 60 because of the two CDMs, kind of like with the 4 2 3 one, you are allowed to have a little more defensive security with that. But for me at this moment in time, I'm really liking the 50 and 55. I just think it works best really and works, suits best for my playstyle. And by the way, while we are in this video, if you please want to check out Luke1977.com, the link is down in the description below to his website. The best clothes ever. He is a sponsor of the channel. And also use the code WOLF20 for 20% off absolutely everything on the store. So if you do that, I will love you guys forever. So yeah, so I do use balance on the defensive style along with 50 width and 55 depth. Again, if you are someone that does struggle a little bit defensively, though, I would recommend probably lowering it down to like a 52-53. That couple of numbers difference will help a lot in terms of like the defensive structure. So I would really recommend using that. But for me at the moment in time, 50 and 55 works the best. Now, the offense, you know, I've been a big believer of direct passing. Not really anymore, though, YouTube. I find in the last couple of patches... It has been nerfed. I'm going to be real with you. I do find that it has been nerfed a little bit and kind of like not in a good way as well. I don't find it to be anywhere near as effective as it was on previous patches. So for now, I do use balanced and balanced. You know when I'm talking about my custom tactics YouTube, I do like to talk about that happy medium G spot. When you are in that, in that middle ground, you're not too offensive and you're not too defensive. When you're in that happy medium G spot... That's when the custom tactics work the best. And for me, balanced, balanced at the moment works best for my custom tactics. We're in the happy medium G spot. Works wonders. If you know, you know. Now, the width. The width is where it is down to you mainly. I've been playing on 57. Random number, I know. But 57 for me kind of just works best. I know it's such a random number, but I've been playing around with the 4 triple 2. Because in my opinion, the 4 triple 2 is the best formation on this FIFA at the moment. And probably has been all year, really. I just find it to be the best. But 57 width works best for me, in my opinion. It really does well. But if you want your lamb and your ram to be a little bit wider, then of course you want to up that depth. Anywhere between 65 depth. I wouldn't go any wider than that because your players will just be too wide, really. But I have it on 57. Anywhere between 57 and 65. But then if you want your lamb and ram to tuck in a little bit, I would recommend 54. I know they're random numbers, but trust me, I've been using these custom tactics and it's what works best. So 54... If you want a little bit narrower for the lamb and the ram. If you want a little bit of width like I do for my lamb and my ram. Have it on 57. That works the best. Now players in the box. This is again down to you. It will be on 5 by default. But you are going to want to up that to 7. 7 in my opinion. And from what I've used with the 4 triple 2 all year really. Is the best. There's no real Monday Night Football analysis with it. I just kind of think the more players that you have in the box right. The more likely you are to score a goal. Kind of like simple maths. If you have a lot of players in the box, you're likely to get that ball beep, that bullshit rebound and stuff like that. So you're likely to get the ball landing to you, especially if you shoot and the opponent keeper saves it, it might rebound to your player. So I have it on seven players in the box. But if you do struggle with the defensive side of the game, then I would recommend probably I would probably just lower it down one to six. So if again, if you struggle defensively, lower it down to six. Now, corners and free kicks, YouTube, lower that down. It will be on three on three as a default. But up, lower that down to 2-2. Two and two. It will stop you getting counter-attacked on from your own corners and your own free kicks. So, so much. Trust me on that. Trust me. So, lower your corners and free kicks down from 3-3 three and three to 2-2. Two and two. It works best, okay? And that's the custom tactics that I use with the 4 triple 2 Again, 
change it at your own will and change a couple of things that you might want to change. But for me, that works best really for me. So that's why I use it. Player instructions. Okay, now this is where you are again going to want to use your own brain with it. Now I have come getting behind and come back on defence on both my strikers. I have been umming and ahhing with Stay Central. I'm having both my strikers on Stay Central. But I don't really feel the need for it as such. So for me, I do just have them both on balance width. So I have them both on getting behind and come back on defence. The come back on defence is actually an attacking move rather than a defensive move. Because you see how there's quite a big gap between my two CDMs and two strikers. I want to close that gap as much as I can. So having my two strikers on comeback on defence, close that gap, and actually helps with the attacking side of the game rather than rather than the defensive side of the game. My ram is then on comeback on defence and get into the box for cross. Very important on your lamb and your ram, in my opinion, that you have them on get into the box for cross. You see my lamb and my ram are on the same. The comeback on defence is just so it helps out. So they're like they're in a flat line with the two CDMs, so you don't have players all around and you don't become too disjointed kind of thing. So for me, the comeback on the fence and getting to the box for cross works wonders. Definitely the best option. Again, like I just said, getting to the box for cross, very important. Okay, it helps out with scoring goals with the bullshit rebounds and stuff like that. So use that. Now, this is where it has changed a little bit. I have both my CDMs on completely default settings, apart from cover center. The defensive position, I have them on cover center. But... If you are someone that does struggle defensively, definitely recommend putting one of them on stay back while attacking. So for me, of course, it would be my team of the year, Kante, that I would put on stay back while attacking. If you are using, I don't know, just a cheaper option, just a more defensive option. <coughs> Excuse me, probably COVID, but yeah, it's not. But the more defensive option that you have is the two CDMs. That's the one you're going to want to have on stay back while attacking. But if you're like me and you do enjoy having that attacking side of the game, you do enjoy taking the game to your opposition, then have them both on completely default settings, just touch the cover center. And then last but not least, I have both my fullbacks just on stay back while attacking. That's the only thing I have on, okay? Stay back while attacking is the only thing I touch on my fullback. So I used to have overlap, but I find it, I found it a little bit weird in terms of the defensive side of the game. So I have them both on stay back while attacking and that is it. And they're very important YouTube, okay? comes for crosses and sweeper keeper on the goalkeeper the sweeper keeper will help loads in terms of like with the chip through balls your goalkeeper will be off his line a lot quicker although van der sar isn't the quickest anyway but he'll be off his line really 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 quick so very important that you do have van der sar or your goalkeeper on sweeper keeper it will help you out with those chip through balls a lot and that right there youtube is my updated post patch for triple two custom tactics for you guys if you did enjoy this video please 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 make sure to drop a like on the video for me drop a comment down below on the video it really does help with the algorithm please 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 hit that subscribe button to my channel and hit that bell so you do get a notification every time i do drop a brand new video thank you for watching guys remember spread the love and positivity pma positive mental attitude peace out one love